the passion you and I bring to our jobs every day, the customers we deal with, they bring that same passion. And so we feel, and this is, some people get concerned about this, as bankers, we're partners with you in this process. You know, we want to understand really where you're trying to go, what you're trying to accomplish, and really work with you to, you know, at the end of the day, we really want to lend you the money. And some people say banks don't want to lend. We want to get, we want to put that money out with you. We want to see you accomplish what you want to. So we like to basically understand from beginning to end how you're going to get there. Um, identify some things that you may not be thinking about. You know, one of the things that uh, we both deal with entrepreneurs is entrepreneurs, by their nature, are very strong-willed. They're often never wrong. Uh, and a lot of times they don't have sources to get, provide advice or guidance. Um, and so we like, as bankers, to make sure that they're working with good attorneys, good accountants, and like to put together the team that helps them get there. So I, 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 you know, the conversation about some of the loans, and one loan in particular that I know we talked about today, I've probably been dealing with that individual for the last two years, getting him into the position where you know, this is the things that he needed to do to get to this stage. And you know, there's a great feeling that at the end of the day, he's going to be able to realize that dream and you know, people have some place to live. Yeah. And, and, and he's taken a piece of underused real estate and created a, a spot where, you know, one maybe one of my fund, 500 employees can go live. Right. It's you said something interesting, and that, and I get a lot of you know I get a lot of feedback about banks. As I'm sure you get a lot of feedback about lawyers, right? It's just the way the nature. We won't is. tell any jokes about that. No, we won't. Okay. We won't have any jokes. But I I I agree. And uh, you know, banks are in the business to make loans, mm -hmm. right? But these entrepreneurs you know, who can't get funded from traditional finance, uh, a lot of times it's because their ideas stink, because they're just not good ideas. You know, and it's a very difficult thing to have to tell somebody, you know, that. And so what I find a lot of bankers do is they'll blame it on regulatory schemes, they'll blame it on formulas, to, and, and the community will say to me, but I don't understand. If I was already bankable, right. then I wouldn't need a loan. You know, but I need the loan to grow this idea to become bankable. You know, and it's a very, um, you know, a conversation that I, I am involved in a lot with, uh, with that. And so how do, you, how do you see that? How do you respond to that? Because I get the partnership. I, I think it's, it, it's, it's an honest conversation. I think it's, as you said, there are, there, are, there are bad ideas that shouldn't be lent on. There are good ideas that are underfunded. Uh, there are good ideas that are not totally thought out. I mean, we, there are great products. How do you get them distributed in people's hands? Uh, there are great businesses or great ideas that, where there's absolutely no money to go into it at this point in time. And, an invest, and, a, and a lender there is really an investor in it, and that's not really our role. Uh, again, you know, there is, we are a regulated industry, and I use that term. I get concerned when I start to say that. But at a certain point in time, you know, there are, parts in the funding structure that really are investors and not lenders. Uh, and I think that, um, you know, what bankers need to do early on in the conversation is understand that, have that conversation with the entrepreneur and figure out the direction they should take.